The plane-carrying warship USS Enterprise CVN-65 is on the lookout close to the Persian Gulf when radar contact is made with a MiG warrior. The combat air patrol of the Enterprise is vectored to meet the approaching airplane, and the contenders included are F-14 Tomcat interceptors, each monitored by a pilot and a radar intercept officer Rio. The pilot of the lead plane is Flight Lieutenant Peter Nonconformist Mitchell Tom Cruise, a call sign suitable for his presumptuous rule-abowing demeanor. His Rio is LT. Nicholas Goose Bradshaw Anthony Edwards. The second F-14 is steered by Bill Cougar Cordell John Stockwell with Sam Merlin Wells Tim Robbins as the Rio. The two F-14s split up and are shocked when a second MyG, safeguarded from radar by riding inside feet of its chief, shows up. Cougar is outsmarted by MyG-1 while Maverick locks his rocket radar on MyG-2, who immediately withdraws. MyG-1 stays on Cougar and is possibly pursued off when Maverick flies topsy-turvy, shuts everything down the MyG, and streaks an indecent motion to the adversary pilot. The MyG withdraws and the two Tomcats fly to the Enterprise, however Cougar is so shaken he can't land, driving Maverick, falling short on fuel and against orders, to cut short his own arrival and talk Cougar to the deck. Cougar sees the skipper of the Enterprise, Tom Stinger Jordan James Tolkien, and turns in his wings the occurrence has left Cougar shook and he believes he can't fly battle anymore. Stinger is compelled to change his expected disciplinary activity against Maverick, for he should send a Tomcat couple for extra battle preparing at the Navy's fighter weapons school in Murmur, close to San Diego, CA and the captain is doubtlessly sickened that Maverick is the main qualified possibility for the task. Nonconformist, in any case, is unobtrusively thrilled as he views the task as a chance for progression, and upon appearance starts a contention with an individual Tomcat pilot, LT. Tom Iceman Kazansky Valkomer and his Rio, Ron Slider Kerner Rick Rasovich. At a bar the night after their most memorable day at the school, Maverick notification Charlotte Blackwood Kelly McGillies a youthful blonde in pants and hits on her by following her into the women room and entertaining her. It appears to be not to work until the following day she shows up at the school, uncovering herself to be Charlie, a formerly inconspicuous DoD flight educator that Maverick had thought to be male. However in fact a non-military personnel, she has dominated the pilot test program where she has beaten a few genuine pilots. She starts to become stricken with Maverick before the authority contest starts. In his most memorable activity, Maverick takes on the school's occupant faux pilot, LTC Richard Entertainer Heatherly Michael Ironside, and prevails with regards to outsmarting him and shooting him down. Yet in this manner he flies under a set lease commitment elevation a hard deck and afterward intensifies this violation of social norms by humming or overflying a flight tower at ludicrously low elevation just to flaunt. Both Maverick and Goose tune in while Jester and their chief, Commander Michael Snake Metcalf Tom Skerritt are berated by the Pinnacle's boss. Iceman likewise berated Maverick for his hazardous disposition, however Maverick won't have any of it. Even after Jester calls him to his office and takes steps to remove him would it be a good idea for him he proceed with along these lines. Metcalf, notwithstanding, knows Maverick since Maverick's dad flew with him in Vietnam off the USS Oriskany CVA-34 and was killed when he drew in the adversary in impartial airspace. The challenge among Maverick and Iceman proceeds. In a later activity Viper and Jester collaborate against Maverick and individual F-14 pilot Hollywood. Freethinker disrupts a cardinal norm by forsaking his partner to pursue Viper, and in this manner Hollywood is destroyed and afterward a similar destiny happens to Maverick. However, the most terrible is on the way, for Maverick has collaborated with Iceman, still up in the air to win the school challenge, furiously censured Iceman for a really long time to go after a faux create. Maverick makes the effort, yet when the two airplanes draw near, the discharge from Iceman's engines cripple Maverick's motors and the F-14 plunges toward the ocean. Goose scarcely prevails with regards to yanking open the crisis launch handles, however when the contender's shade busts open, the two pilots discharge and Goose collides with the covering, killing him. Dissident is crushed by Goose's passing, and however a request gets him free from bad behavior, his certainty is obliterated. He regardless alumni from the class and is reassigned to the Enterprise, where an episode with full My GS prompts a portentous fight including Iceman along with Maverick. Iceman and Hollywood are sent off to block a couple of my GS however are bounced by four extra full warriors. Hollywood is killed and Iceman tragically encompassed when Maverick is sent off, presently with Merlin as his Rio. However deferred by failing slings on the flight deck, 
Maverick actually shows up at the location of fight yet is encircled by adversary and when he flies into one boat's jet wash his own contender momentarily slows down and however he recaptures control he streaks back to Goose's demise and severs, leaving Iceman who has long questioned Maverick's boldness after Goose's passing caught as Merlin frantically and angrily shouts at Maverick to get once again into fight. Dissident get a hold of himself and gets back to help Iceman, and they obliterate for my GS, inciting the excess group to withdraw. Therefore, Maverick and Iceman at last become companions. As a compensation for his chivalry, Maverick is offered any task he picks. He decides to be a teacher at Top Gun. He throws Goose's canine labels into the sea, meaning he has found a sense of peace with his companions passing. 